today's vlog I hope you're all doing okay today yeah so we are just at the retail park in Banbury aren't we darling just want to get a couple of bits and pieces to see things from ice and that's what we come for really but we said while we're here might as well look around what they've got here obviously they've got hobby craft here as well I definitely will go in there and get a few more cookery bits and pieces because I want to start doing a few more cake things even Sammy said didn't he mummy I miss your cakes so I'm going to start probably doing that probably a bit later on. Not that Ben needs some biscuits, doesn't he? And um, believe it or not, it works out cheaper for me to make them myself rather than keep buying them all the time, doesn't it? And at least if, at least if I make my own, I can make them all the different shapes to them and stuff as well. So the yeah, first is Poundland. We'll see what Poundland we've got as well. Yeah, so come and join us for a little bit of a shopping trip like today. This. Poundlands up here because it's a two floor one. There's not many two floor Poundlands around. This used to be an old, was it next clearance? I think it was, wasn't it? So, yes, obviously, well, then they brought it here. And then, obviously, the top floor is actually the clothing. It's not a complete second floor because it's all of the mezzanine floor. So, just looking at all these little Halloween things already, little jumpers. Well, how much are they? Thing is, Sally doesn't really go for Halloween, he just prefers um, like Christmassy stuff. Even got some little baby outfits there as well. So, what that's nice, son would like that, wouldn't he? Lake Michigan. So, what Ben does need actually, he needs some more jogging bottoms. That's one thing he definitely does need from here as well. I had to throw a whole load away where they had holes in at the knees and stuff, and it just wasn't worth keeping. There you go, we just found some tea for eight pounds. That'd be that'd be better for him, wouldn't it? So he's having Morning. to go to you should, can't stop yawning. Mm. So he's having to go to Primark so it just for a pair a couple of jogging bottoms when I can get from here. The They're the same That's size. Large. Large. That's the only problem, you do have to be make careful because sometimes even if it says medium there, it doesn't necessarily say medium in the actual ticket mm. as well. Large. But it's the large for him, yeah? yeah. Tell you what, I like this. But Sam would like that. Do you think so? That will suit Sammy down to the ground as well. It's um, how much is it? It's sixteen pound. But when choosing clothes now, you notice Sammy likes to choose the clothes he likes now because mm. he's getting quite fussy what he likes to wear. Well, again, he's a teenager, though, isn't he? So he finds some. Oh, well, they're nice, aren't they? Mm. Long sleeve, or well, mm. short sleeve and long bottoms. See. We, Sammy likes to wear the long sleeves, but Ben likes to wear short sleeves, doesn't he? <laughs> and then just intending into the ladies' section. I like them. Look, it's got a duvet day on them. Aren't they cute? And obviously got some Tinkerbell there. And obviously yeah, got short, some... Short ones. They're short ones, yeah. No, I'm like in the winter. Mm. It's like me, I've started wearing my Mickey Mouse snuddy thing, have I, now at night time? It seems he knows it's cold because I'm wearing that. Anything else around here you fancy? No? Just popped up downstairs now then, yeah? Yeah. So just heading down now into the bit. What have you picked up? Fiery prawn cocktail. Ooh. Try them. I'll be a bit. Ooh. A bit spicy. I'm right for shampoo. Why are we here? Do you want some bath stuff? Why are we here? Yeah, we've got plenty at the minute. You've got plenty at the minute, haven't like you? Loads of bottles everywhere. I don't like having it. Right for sponges and stuff, aren't we? I'm all right for deodorant. Are you right for deodorant? Yeah. Who can remember having this when they were younger with a matey? I remember when we were at home, we used to have loads of this stuff. We used to have one with a soldier. I remember that used to smell really nice. I'm really, really quite surprised they went back for the kids, aren't you? But they were more into like the other character stuff. 
I thought, well, that's quite nice, actually, little present there, isn't it, for, um, like I said, for kids or stuff like, oh, let's say, I say tweens, but they're like little six, seven-year-olds ever for Christmas or little stocking fillers. And you've got the bath bombs as well. They're only a pound. Oh, you do you can pick up some washing up liquid. I'm ashamed to say we've got no washing up liquid in the house. But then again, we don't use it very much because of the dishwasher and stuff, do we? Some stuff you can't put in a dishwasher. Some stuff you can't put in a dishwasher. Mm-hmm. Which one do you pick up? One. This one? Yeah. Was it four times less scrubbing? That's good because that's we need it for the um, George Foreman, don't we? found that out yesterday. So what they got down here? Bill- birthday balloons and stuff. <laughs> wow. That's the spiky dog ball. Now, I would have thought that would have been a sensory toy here for Ben. That's something Ben would have liked. But it's actually a dog toy, believe it or not. I know they're, um, you are? Oh, that's nice. got rubber on each top of each one. Oh, wow. Mm. How much is it? That's only three pounds, not too bad. Mm. Obviously, oh, yeah. <laughs> Obviously, with Christmas and coming up, get some ideas and stuff for Christmas. Yeah, it's not in more, is it? It's technology. But got all these little play and learn number and shapes modeling day set. That's only five pounds. And look, is that a carbon copy of Mr. Potato? <laughs> Got some pizza play day stuff. Again, we have tried Ben on play day loads of times. He just wants to eat it, so it just isn't worth it, to be honest with you. Got some Jenga. Comment down below if you remember Jenga. I know we had loads of fun playing with Jenga. We got some big ones for the guys, didn't we? <laughs> you look, even Paul had got their own game. <laughs> That's different, isn't it? The jigsaws, aren't they? And these are pretty good, like these wooden building blocks. They're only seven pound. You've got some little number and letter things. What are these things? I don't know what they are. And got a little shape sort of thing there. And some little. Oh, they're good. Little. Oh, how much are they? How much are they? What? Are they eight pounds? Mm-hmm. If you're into Barbie as well. I do like that Frozen set. I think that's pretty cool. Obviously, I'm too old. Even though I do love Frozen, I do love my colour. I'm too old for something like that. But I like the idea you've got like, all the different rubbers on the ends. Yeah. I thought that was a goldfish bowl. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see they've got all their Halloween bits and pieces in here yeah, as well to not yet i need to book that i need to book when we got covered and stuff but yeah we're having halloween parties and stuff sam said he doesn't want a halloween party this year did he he said he doesn't want one but so yeah i don't think i don't think we're gonna bother much with halloween but these are quite good aren't they these little pumpkin things for one pound fifty i like these halloween goats they're three pound they've got one there and they've also got one there as well with long hair. Yeah, I know they do say gonks for Christmas, but I know they're coming out all the time now. I also got here all the sweets and stuff, obviously for trick or treaters and you've having parties. Little face masks, the wigs. And even got like the colour hairspray there as well. Um, one tip, don't buy green because I remember one year when the kind of I used that stuff to, to dye my hair green, it took ages to come out that one did. Yes, yeah, so I ain't got much Christmas stuff in at the minute. I've got cards and little tea lights and stuff. We need to sort through ours, see what we've actually got first, don't we? I know these are nice. We got some of them last time as lit up. Again, the kids actually loved it when we decorated their rooms last year, didn't they? So probably not doing that again for them. Oh wow, they've got some bigger ones this time for five pounds. I like that colour. That's nice. I know. That looks like a pretty cool game, doesn't it? Got a creepy town graveyard smash if you're having like parties or something like that. Again, if we do decorate for Halloween, I'll let Sammy come and pick what he wants. I'll be craft on, get some bits and pieces for my cakes, but just looking at all the Halloween stuff. There's loads of stuff in there, isn't there? Look, Witchley's Brew little bottle. <laughs> See, now look, a paper mache pumpkin. Can you remember when we had one of the birthday parties for Sam's one year? Mm. It would not 
break at all, was it? Even the adults struggled, if I remember rightly. Mm. <laughs> so, yeah, pretty cool there. Obviously, got some little, oh, they're quite good, little foam masks, little Halloween treat bags and stuff, aren't they? Little glove skeletons. And Eva over here got some Christmas bits and pieces as well. They yeah, like the fillable decorations. Oh, look, little Santa. Got like a little Christmas trees here, little wreaths. I suppose if you make like your own little things, aren't they? They go. Oh yeah, they're a good idea, aren't they? Make your own baubles. Mm. I suppose you um, put stuff inside them and stuff, don't you? Mm. And obviously refillable advent calendars. I've always wondered if these are a good idea. you like £16 to buy, then you just keep them, refill them every year. Mm. Probably be cheaper than buying advent calendars all the time, wouldn't it? Mm. So yeah, so loads of things around here. They've even got little Christmas things here, like all the all, um, what do you call them? Sundial type, you know what they're called? Sun catchers, aren't they? Mm. Those things here. You've got like a little Christmas tree here. Um, what's that, a reindeer? Is that supposed to be a horse on the a unicorn type or a reindeer on the Christmas tree? And you've got some little books, things there. Oh, these are pretty, darling, aren't they? These little wooden things down here as well. Again, I could spend an absolute fortune in here. These things you want to paint yourself. Got some wreath making kits over there. And then let's go around here. So what else I've got around here. Got some kids making things here. Yeah, wow. Well, little stencil kits. I think it sounds like interest crafts in more, isn't it? So anyway, yes, yeah, so let's go up here and get my cake things, what I come in for. Otherwise, I'm spend the fortune. Got some little... These are good ideas. It's like you make your own cars and stuff. Here we go. Look at all this slot here. A ginger house baking kit. Can we try to make one last year and it fell apart? Mm -hmm. That was funny. That was chocolate that that was. So, where are they? Here we go. Cake boxes. I'm right for this stuff. Oh wow, I like these little moulds. They're quite cute, aren't they? <laughs> the little cookies that look with the dogs and the bones and stuff. It's amazing though, actually, what you actually find when you're not looking for it. I found loads of stuff yesterday, didn't I? Mm -hmm. I found loads. It's just I want some more cake release spray. This stuff is amazing when you do cakes. Really, really is. I could go in my tray. And I just want some of the um, icing stuffy which I just think would be I haven't got any darling I like all the Betty Crock rice and stuff nice it's round the corner but these are these are quite nice these little cake topper type things and also these ones here as well Halloween things in haven't they? What's that? That's the whole oh, it's a thing for pets. Oh wow, it's a light up bath bomb. That's different, isn't it? <laughs> Never seen them before. Push a uh, push a uh, pumpkin push light. I tell you what, if they got one of those little light things, you know what I mean? Which um you no. press what Ben likes. Tell everyone I'm gonna get actually. I get some of them 
for the pumpkin because obviously we can't light the, with the candle. We've had those before, haven't we? They're really good. So get some of them. Oh, it's all right. I've got the basket, haven't I? I'm just looking at these. So set this little spider bunting for only for 59p. Got some skeleton bunting for 59p. A tablecloth, some um, character balloons. Oh, wow, they're pretty cool, aren't they? You feel a helium and watch your characters float to the ceiling. Does this do anything? Let's have a look. Where are we? Try me. Doesn't. There you go, darling. When you get, when you get Halloweeners, I'm here for the booze. <laughs> Don't we get Halloweeners? Answer the door with this. <laughs> we didn't get anyone last year, no. Yeah. There you go, darling. This is what Ben likes. Get one of these. Look. Oh, they do break actually. He's known to break those ones quite easy. Yeah, they've got loads of things in here. Oh, well, those pumpkins. They're good for £12.99, aren't they? Got some little paper plates, especially having parties. Inflatable ghosts. Pass the pumpkin. Includes eight prizes, hats, and forfeit snips. slips. Hey, good darling. Never heard of Pass the Pumpkin before. I have Pass the Parcel. And obviously got some little cups and stuff and these cushions. Oh yeah. <laughs> that cushion's quite cute. I've got some little bags and stuff obviously the sweets. So we'll have to get some away just in case. But yeah. Right, so Monster Mellows Halloween mix. No, what it's hard to believe we've seen all these Christmas things back out on the shops again, isn't it? Yeah. Really is gingerbread house there. Again. All these little Apparently, someone said they got a, um, a Lynx Advent calendar from here for only £10. But the Advent calendars are down here and I can't seem to find any, not unless they sold out, because it was because obviously the price was, was only £10, so probably why. No. Or not unless it was the selected home bargain stores. We're just heading home now. We've spent a good couple of hours on the retail part, didn't we? Had the Kim Powell and, and also Hobby Grass. I've got myself a couple of books and things from there, so looking forward to that doing them. I was trying to find some Christmas art, diamond art painting, didn't I? My mum's got like a little one, it's got like a little light too as well. I think she said she's got more families, I think she. And then she said she's going to say with the links, so I was hoping not to get one of families only one way because I could have done this afternoon, but never mind. But anyway, yeah, so also we went into Iceland as well, got a couple of bits from pieces for the freezers, didn't we? Yeah, freezers a bit there. Yeah, so we filled it up. We haven't, seen, we haven't filled it right up, we've just got a couple of bits and pieces now to last us about a couple of weeks, you reckon? Yeah, no so, more shopping for a while. No, no more shopping for a while, yeah, it's just crazy because over the half time, I'd say half time, over the summer holidays, we just sort of, everything just went, didn't it? Trouble is, when you go to an and you buy fresh bits, you know, you forget that sometimes they're in the fridge and then they go out of date and then you have to bin them. Exactly, yeah, so we had to do that with a packet of bins, didn't we? We shoved them right to the back of the fridge and by the time we opened it, it went it's all smelly. It's always a horrible thing when you open bottle, you feel like you're going to have it, but you don't. You don't, so yeah, these, are, these are frozen, these are stage frozen sort of thing, so, and they said frozen stuff is just as good for you, it's fresh enough, don't they? Was they didn't have no ice cream in Iceland, would you believe? I oh, know, yeah. <laughs> No ice cream, but well, they did have an ice cream, but it's like the little tubs. Well, not proper tubs. No, and the amount of ice cream Stanley wants is like, and it's going to pop up to stay into just some ice cream, which just seems crazy, doesn't it, really? So, I do vlog for this channel in Iceland, but I have vlogged that come shop with me for my channel when I pull it up. Um, they will be actually 20 different and I so it'll probably up one day anyway. I've got to do is I'll leave the link on the community tab when it's up on my channel. And don't forget, you bought yourself a red velvet cake to cook, haven't you? Yeah, I'm not doing that today. No, just bought it, you just bought it, and stuff yeah. like that. So, yeah, so and um, you know, I'll, 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 sh I'll also show you some of the nice bits you bought from Iceland. We've got a TDI Friday's cookie dough thing, haven't we? That looks nice. And I did do a chocolate pizza in there as well. I was going to get that, but the box was damaged. And I also bought myself some che cheese and bacon street fries. They look really nice, aren't they? Some salt and vinegar fries as well. Yeah, they were nice, wasn't That's they? Weird combinations in there. They have. They've got some hot paprika sausages as well, haven't they? I thought they were a bit fiery. <laughs> they do go through a lot of like, testing to make sure they do taste good. 
they do do actually because you watch all the programs didn't we they, they do do loads I think they get about four or five great, um, tasting sessions and stuff so the job as a taste that I'd like you would need to take a couple of lunch would you <laughs> no that I like well, being taste testers for Cadbury's <laughs> oh yeah speaking of Cadbury's Merlin take over Cadbury World in October first of October, first of October. Yeah. so obviously what I can gather is it's going to be not free to get into for some people at a Merlin pass it's probably going to get 20% off which is much like 20% off in, in the chocolate shop from Iceland obviously seeing us putting everything away because it doesn't defrost but yeah but what I'll show you this cookie dough pie when we used to go to Aldi they used to do their own version and Sammy used to love it so I hope fingers crossed he'll love this one just to say this is from TGI Fridays it's actually new as well I'll tell you what they've got loads of stuff in TGI Fridays I've got loads of offers in there as well loads of well they've got there loads of three for tens haven't they two for fives three for fives Loads and loads of stuff. Anyway, and also saw these. These are the Heinz baked beans filled hash browns. I thought these would be really nice. Again, the kids love hash browns and they love ha um, baked beans. Only thing is, I didn't check whether Ben can have these. My well, Ben can't have these because obviously it contains the barley. Some hash browns you can actually have, but again, that's very sure you can't have those ones. And obviously, Stephen picked some of these. I think these were just few crispy salt and vinegar fries. I'm not too quite sure what these ones are like. You can see they're new as well. Which ones did we have these before? The skin on fries, didn't we? Yeah. And the kids absolutely go crazy for those. We could actually cook a whole packet, and I think the kids eat them to themselves, basically. Yeah, just double, double check. This is may contain wheat, so yeah, just have to be careful of Ben's tummy if he has these. So yeah, so I've got to put these in the freezer before they before they melt. So yeah, or you can see the boys are home from school. Yeah, good day, Ben. You had a really good day, haven't you? He's eating his crisps. Ben, can give mummy a crisp. Can mummy have a, can mummy have a skip? Oh, bless him. No, you go, sweet. You can have him back. Well, he's got rain in the cupboard. So yeah, that just goes to prove that he does understand things aren't you you're a good boy yeah apparently he's been matching pictures to shapes to the like pecs things or something he's been doing at school today with the yeah he's doing really well with the pecs symbols now he wasn't really interested last year obviously when he had his issues but now he's at his happy self he's communicating with pecs but you know, like with the normal pecs, you have like the objects and stuff like that. But with Ben, it has to be something he knows. So, like with his crisp, because he often finds a crisp, it has to be that one. Or, so like essentially something over there, it has to be objects that he knows. If you give him an object that he doesn't know, then he won't respond to it. Be it like, because you have a lovely day, haven't you, sweetheart? Yeah, he's enjoying eating his crisps, aren't you? Yeah. Hey, Ruth, you can see what your brother's been up to. Because he's um, gone straight upstairs, doesn't he, Ben? He's got you straight upstairs. And tomorrow you're doing your out and about, aren't you, on Thursday? You're going on those buses tomorrow. You're going on, on those buses tomorrow. You like getting on those buses. I mean, he just, he's not probably just wants to eat his crisps, don't you, at the minute? Yeah, that's a good boy. Yeah, I don't know how it's come out on the vlogs and stuff like that, but obviously when Ben's being vocal, if you listen carefully, you can see that he's trying to make the words that he wants to say. I've got a feeling that one day he's just come out with it, isn't he? Really, as long as he was able to just imagine if Ben could talk normally. Could just imagine the arguments between him and Sammy really, really could. I can imagine that lots of swear words involved as well. But yes, anyway, Ben... So go see what, let's go see what your brother's up to. I couldn't even shout it out, Mummy! Yeah, there's does that shout, Mummy, you can come and see me. So yeah, let's go, let's go see what he's been up to. Yes, sir, you aren't, you, you called? Yeah. How's your day been? Okay. Okay, what have you done at school? Um, first been doing a lot of lessons today. Yeah. 
I'm just watched the Lion King today. And what else? You call that a lesson? Watching Lion King, you call that a lesson? Yeah. And then my Smith, with something to do, what are you doing? Something to do with your school play as well, isn't it? My Christmas play. Yeah. So apart from watching Lion King, what else have you done? Just been chilling out. Chilling out, just yeah. Been just just doing a couple of lessons. We don't get much out of you, do we? And the teacher said, oh, you've done this, you've done that. And it's like, oh, he hasn't told us. It's like, you didn't tell us that I enjoying your tuna sandwich last week, did we? Yeah. We had to find out from one of your teachers. Yeah, I love my mum. I got lots of Yeah. Anyway, what was, school, what was school dinner today? School dinner today, it was beef burgers again. Did you like them? Yeah. Yeah? But when I cooked beef burgers last night, you didn't want any? No. No. I must admit, Tatey, when you come in from school, you don't want a lot, though, do you? You just have, like, a little snack, don't you, really? So, but, anyway, at least school was all right, yeah? Yeah. Oh. I'm playing on my old tablet. Playing on your old tablet, aren't you? Was Ben all right on the bus? Yeah. Was he being noisy today? Yeah, being naughty. Being naughty or being noisy? Being noisy. Yeah, but in a, in a happy way or an upset way? A happy way. Exactly. What would you rather, Ben, be happy or upset? Happy. You would be happy when you've been been happy, wouldn't we? Look, Mum, what I'm watching now. What are you watching now? Oh, what are you watching? Are you watching one of our chaos at Legoland? That was the first time Mummy and Ben went on Flight of the Skyline. On my, on my Flight of the Skyline. Is that your favourite ride? That's still my... Uh, we might be on there next weekend. I don't know what we're doing next weekend yet, sweetheart. Where are we going? Well, we to... might be at Legoland next weekend. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. I got done. I'm not too quite sure when they're clients and stuff. We should have been going to. Pause it. That look. That's what. The... Well, flight of the skyline, yes, sweetheart. We should have been going to Legoland on Sunday, shouldn't we? Because we cancelled it, didn't we? Because what happened? The Queen. Because of the Queen, didn't she? What happened to the Queen? She died. She died, didn't she? Because she was. He was. What the Queen was. The Queen was. Ball. Poorly. The Queen was poorly, wasn't she? So where are we going? So because we're not going to Legoland on Sunday, where are we going on Saturday? My favourite, Chessington. We're going to Chessington, aren't we? We're going on all the rides at Chessington, aren't we? Yeah. And what happens at Chessington with the shirt as well? No, Chessington's open on Saturday, sweetheart. Oh, no, on Sunday? Yeah, and it's not open. I think it's open. I'm not too quite sure about Sunday, actually. I'll have to check. But anyway, if you want anything, just let me know. Yeah. Yeah, all right. I'll see you in a bit. we have some tea, yeah? Yeah. So then, that's Wednesday done and dusted again, as she found me. And uh, today was a day where we saw on the TV where the Queen's coffin was taken from Buckingham Palace and uh, slowly, slow procession all the way up the mile, all the way to Westminster Hall, where she's now lying in state until Monday morning. So, anyone that is watching us right now who is in down London, say some respect and some prayers on the part of us as well. And um, you know, it'd be nice to go and say goodbye, but it's um, a long process, isn't it, to get through? Mm, really long process. Yeah. yeah. Some people said you could be waiting up to 30 hours to go and see her. I think it's going to be a experience of a lifetime. Not in, not in that sort of way, but something that we'll never see, is it, Al? Something yeah. we'll never see. Because they'll say, because now, obviously, Charles is king now, not only you've got William, and then you've got George, mm. haven't you? So there'll be another, because there'll be probably no ever proper queen in their lifetime, would there? No. So, yeah, bless her. Yeah, it's going to be uh, an emotional thing to see on Monday, and um, I won't be surprised if you shed a few tears on it. I was yeah, we all remember when Diana passed away, how she had uh, Elton John's Candle in the Wind. That song is really quite upsetting to hear when you hear it back. Yeah, so Wednesday's done, guys. So like the video, comment down below, hit the subscribe button. And we will see you again tomorrow for Thursday. We've got a tip run to do tomorrow. I've got to get rid of some rubbish. Bye, guys.